What's up? Welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. You're here with Eric Wallin and Grayson Andrews. Grayson, how old are you? 13. 13. He's 13. You might be wondering why I got Grayson on because this kid knows a lot about the UFC. He comes into the gym all the time, just running his mouth. Hey, what do you think is going to happen in this fight? What about this fight? What about this fight? And he's just very in on the end as far as UFC fighters and stuff is concerned. So building up to UFC 276, um, I wanted him on to talk about his predictions, what he thinks is going to happen. Remember, I did a video the other day, guys. If you want a free pair of Reyes gloves, go to my video um, where you can win your free pair of Reyes. And I want you to predict the last four fights. And these are the four fights I want you to predict. Pedro, Sean O'Malley, Sean, Alex, Alexander, Vol Alexander Volkanovsky, Max Holloway, Israel Adesanya, Jared Cannonier. If you predict those four fights, the winner and the round, watch my video. I've got clear instructions on how to do this. You can win these gloves. You might be thinking, Eric, you've left out the ladies. Um, if you want a bonus, predict that fight as well. That one was entered in later after I did the video. That's why it's a bonus fight. Okay, so now to you, Grayson. Let me get your predictions, why you think what's going to happen, and let's start with Pedro Munoz versus Sean O'Malley. Uh, I can see O'Malley going in there trying to make it a long fight and make it pretty. Um, I think Pedro's going to try and charge in a little bit, try and make a dog fight. Um, so we got the style. Yeah. What, do you, what do you say on who's going to win and what round? Uh, I'd say Sean O'Malley by unanimous decision. Um, really? Yeah, I think he's going to try and put the volume on Pedro. Okay. And I know Pedro's a tough dude, so I think he can tough it out and live to fight another day. I see it differently. I think Sean O'Malley is going to get a knockout, and I think Pedro's going to try to push the long fight. But that's what we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the ladies. Um. Lauren Murphy and Misha Tate. Oof, I have don't know a lot about these women, but I do know Misha Tate definitely likes grapple. Um, pulled off that Hail Mary from Holly Holm, mm -hmm. and I know Lauren Murphy. She's pretty well rounded. Um, she mostly likes to grapple, but I know she can strike. But I really don't know who could pull off a win. I think. Murphy might get the win because Misha Tate is moving down and yeah. we have to we don't know what's going how that weight cut's going to affect her right um I think Lauren Murphy just my my own gut feeling I feel like she's probably going to be more hungry yeah I just do she's got she's coming off a loss to the champion she's mm -hmm. going to try to get in that title picture again try and get a rematch and, and I don't know I don't know. I just think she's going to be more hungry. Uh, I'm going to predict her winning unanimous. Yeah. What, what do you predict? Yeah, I can see the same thing. Or Lauren Murphy winning unanimous. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. Sean Strickland, Alex Pereira. Okay, one thing of Alex, um, I've only seen, I've seen both of his UFC fights. Okay. I'm honestly surprised he's fighting Sean Strickland already. Um, I think Alex is going to try to fight long first and then he, he'll explode at the right time and try and knock Sean Strickland out. But I think Sean is too tough and he, I think he's going to jab his way yeah. and use his head movement. Maybe even grapple a little bit because Alex Barra, he's not the best grappler in the right. weight division right now. So. I'm saying Sean Strickland. I'm going to say I'm going to stay super conservative on this one. Um, I think Sean Strickland is just going to be too much for Alex to handle. And I think Sean is just going to get a, a win by decision. Yeah. Same. Yeah. No, nothing aggressive on that one. Yeah. Okay. Let's move up to the championship All fights. Right. This is where I think it gets interesting. Yes. Alexander Volkanovsky versus Max Holloway. Give Three. me your thoughts. Three what? Uh, the third fight. Um, okay, I think I think Volkanovski is going to try and be technical with this fight. I think he's going to use a lot of jabs, cross, and then move his weight inside. And 
fight hallway and like um, inside battle hooks mm -hmm. uppercuts. Um, but I, I think Hall hallway has gotten better. You saw with the Calvin Cato fight. Then again, Calvin yeah. Cato is not the best bantamweight right now. Then you saw his war with Yair Rodriguez. Right. And one thing I am concerned about this fight, like I think Volkanovski is going to go to the late kicks because I can see that we see uh, Max doesn't defend them well against Yair mm -hmm. Volkanovski in the in the first fight. Alex um, Alex just like chopped him down and. I think Max could pull it off uh, by a split decision. I think Max um, is going to try and put the volume on Volk, and I think he's going to try and get his timing down. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. you're, you're predicting uh, Holloway? Split decision. Split decision. So it's yeah. going to be a close fight. Yeah, definitely. You're predicting a close fight. Okay. I'm going a little bit different. Um. I think Alexander wants an ugly fight. I think he wants to fight like a short guy. He wants yeah. to blast through the center, push him up into the cage, maybe drag him to the ground. Um, but I think Alexander wants an ugly, close, face-to-face, -face, chest to chest, shoulder to shoulder fight. Yes. I think Max Holloway wants a distance fight. Pump that jab, stick and move, land some low leg kicks. Um, but also with, with that distance fight, the, you start to turn into a pretty fight where your combos start to go fast with your hands, finishing with your legs, and I think that's probably what uh, Max wants. Personally, I think Max is going to win. And I also think he's going to do exactly what I said. He's going to keep it at a distance, circle out, circle back, and continue to let Alex walk into these shots. I don't think it's going to be a close fight, though. And maybe I'm just on the hype train from his last fight, but I think... Um, He's going to win uh, very unanimous. Really? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I, I think if Max keeps his fight at a distance, he pumps that jab, cuts the legs low, and then also loosen up. If he can get loosey-goosey, he can have a lot of fun out there. Yeah. And now, and now I get it. Um, there's a lot that goes on to this, but like, I think he's got it. I think he's got the – I think he's hungry. I think he's on his way up. I think we might be seeing the best Max we've ever seen. Yes, I, I do agree with you there. But another thing for Volkanovski is that none of his opponents have also fought long distance. Mm -hmm. Ortega is just kind of backing up and trying to lure Volkanovski in, yeah. but he couldn't. So, and Chan Sung Jung, oh my God, he looked like he had no training headed in that fight. Right. He just got absolutely destroyed, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, so I've got unanimous Holloway. Decision. What do you got? Split decision. Yes. All the way. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to Israel Adesanya and Jared Cannonier. Okay. Give it to us straight. What are you thinking? Uh, I know he. I know he's a big Izzy fan, so <laughs> it, it could be anything here. But let's let's hear what you got. Okay. I'm not gonna give this prediction because I'm like a fan of these fighters. No, I do it based on what I know right now. Okay. Um, Izzy, honestly, his last few fights. Like, I know I might sound like a casual, but they have been a little bit boring. But if you really, I, I know what's going on. I'm like, okay, he's trying to be technical and stuff like that. So I think Izzy might go lay kicks, try to mix it up a little bit, try and make Jared Cannonier confused, and Izzy's going to try and use his speed. But Jared Cannonier, he, he's, he's pretty tough. He mm. fought Robert Whitaker with a broken arm yeah. in the first round. He's willing to, like, like go to distance and make it a dog fight and I, I don't i think izzy would either go by ud or a ko by third or third fourth or fifth round okay this is where i'm going to go completely off the rails if you looked at my predictions previously mm -hmm. i think we all agree sean o'malley is going to win i think the girls fight is up in the air honestly and yeah. we both went with murphy um, Sean Strickland, I felt like I st stayed very conservative. Um, I feel like I'm going with Max because I want to see Max win. So let's now go to Israel and Jared Cannonier. I think Jared Cannonier wins by knockout in the really? second round. Second round? Second round. Now, here's this is why. This is why. I do believe Israel is a better fighter. So 
w- w- and, and maybe I've been in this predicament where it's like, if you know someone's better than you, you got to go for it. And sometimes it works. I mean, who would have guessed uh, when Anderson Silva lost to Chris Weidman? Chris Weidman. No, no one saw that. Yeah. Nobody saw that. Um, and I feel like Israel's kind of in that same position. Where he's a little bit cocky. He's Ben Champ. He's going he's to fight a guy that doesn't seem to, on paper, really stack up to him. So in my mind, I'm going out on a limb on this one. And I'm going, Cannoneer is going to go for it. And he's going to find it in the second round. But call, the question call is, me crazy. Uh, I'm just wondering, is his head moving? He has pretty good head move. I know it's not the best in the world. He has gotten caught by Whitaker, Vittori, and some guys before them. I'm just wondering if Jared Cannonier can get the power to the t- uh, target. Yeah. And that's the thing. In the 185-pound weight class, most of those guys have knockout power. Yes. So it's a matter of if and when he finds it. If he doesn't find it, I don't think he stands a chance. Um, but I do, I don't know. I got this sneaking suspicion he's going to rock him. He's going to rock him. He's going to finish him second round. Uh, uh, and here's another thing. If he can't, if he also can't do that, I'm wondering if he's going to try and wrestle because he did say, his whole training camp with Derek Brunson right. was wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. Yeah. Now, that might have stick with him to this fight camp, or it might right. not have. But if it has, I think Izzy might be a um, couple steps below Robert Whitaker, mm-hmm. Whitaker uh, wrestling and try fin take down, get back up to the feet. Yeah. Well, there are predictions. That's it right there yep. in a nutshell. So prove me now here with. Let's see if we're right. If we're wrong, um, all we can do is tune in. Don't forget, go to my other video where I'm holding up a pair of Reyes gloves. See if you can win these things. Also, remember, the ladies' fight is a bonus fight. The bonus was, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I believe it was a hat, T-shirt, and hoodie. So the way you win is you have to predict every fight winner, every fight the round that it ended. So the winner, the round it ended. And then also, if you want the bonus, you have to also predict the women's fight and the uh, round that it ended. And then also, if two people win, it's the person who posted their answer first. There's only one winner. It's the person who, an- who posted their answer first. So if you haven't posted yet, honestly, there's thousands of possibilities. I haven't got a calculator on it, but there's a lot of possibilities. Get on it. Put up what you think could happen. Anything else you want to add, Grayson? Couple, uh, two things. Okay. The Pedro and O'Malley fight. I think if Pedro can rock O'Malley, um, do you know O'Malley's purple belt in jujitsu? Um, we haven't seen it yet, but we um, don't know a lot about it. But I think if Pedro can rock O'Malley, um, O'Malley might panic wrestle and try to take him down. But another thing, Pedro has a nasty guillotine. He's mm-hmm. choking out people with a guillotine like four or five times in the bantamweight division. Right. Or if Pedro rocks O'Malley, he does. He does have good level change, and he might take him down. Got it. Try and ground a pound, and like. So you're saying Pedro might win? Yeah, he definitely right. has a possibility. Because originally you said O'Malley in a split. Is that what you said? Uh, originally. No. Uh, I said originally I said O'Malley UD. Okay. I think that's the most likely possibility, Got or it. O'Malley by knockout. But right. you're giving Pedro a chance. Yes, okay. definitely. I'm not expecting O'Malley to uh, just absolutely dominate him. Got it. Okay. Well, like I say, leave your comments. And if you want in on these gloves, you got to go to my other video. you got to comment on that video where I establish the rules on the giveaway. Thank you for turning, tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe.